The city of Mariupol, as you can see, is well, almost completely devastated. And the people who used to live in those buildings are now forced to live in the basements or makeshift bomb shelters. We are trying well, on a daily basis to deliver humanitarian aid like uh, food, uh, water, medicine, hygienic items. It's happening every single day. Also, people are coming up to me uh, and uh, they're asking to send, uh, there's no network here, there's no communication, so they're asking me to send uh, uh, video messages to their loved ones in Russia, in uh, Ukraine or in, in other places around the world. Uh, this woman that I'm about to speak with, she wants to record a message for her sister. My mom has been in Poland for two years. Lately she's been crying a lot because people who were coming there and showing our homes were not reporting on the victims. So people didn't know anything. Mom saw my house and cried because she thought that neither me nor my kids were alive. But she is calmer now she knows we're not dead. Hello, kids. I wanted to tell you that we're all alive and are staying in our flat even though it was burnt. We're now back from uh, Mariupol, back here in my hotel room in Donetsk and uh, as always I received uh, many video messages from the residents uh, there who want to let their loved ones all over the world they want to let them know that they're okay. Катя, здравствуйте. Меня зовут Роман Косарев. Здесь работаю в Донецке, в Мариуполе. Видел сегодня вот вашу маму. Мы там раздавали гуманитарную помощь сегодня, и она попросила записать для вас видео. Какие-то выходы на гуманитарную помощь есть? Да, абсолютно есть. Она, кстати, живет очень недалеко. Она вот живет очень недалеко от распределительного центра. У них в их районе все нормально. They will be sleeping better tonight, knowing that their moms are healthy, they're safe and sound. Roman Kosferi, Varti, Donetsk People's Republic.